what is up you guys king lagerfeld here back with another video reaction and today we're going to be doing a video by the channel real life lore and this is how the universe is way bigger than you think now i'm pretty sure the universe is really really big um i'm a believer that you know there's more life than just humans i think there are definitely other life forms on other planets there's a lot out there that we have yet to discover that we don't even know. So I'm really sure that it's actually a lot of stuff out there that we may not even ever discover. So, I mean, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of interesting stuff in this video. So let's go ahead and watch this video by Real Life Lore and see what they have to say about the universe. Let's get into it. This is a real-life lore video made possible by Squarespace. Make your next move with a beautiful website from Squarespace. This is Earth. You live here on this planet somewhere. I do. And everything that you've ever known is located right here. But just how small exactly is Earth when compared to the scale of the entire universe? Let's start by zooming out to where we can see our nearest cosmic the neighbor, moon. the moon. You may think that the moon is very close to Earth since it dominates our night skies, but in reality, the moon isn't this close to our planet. It's actually about this far oh, away. Oh, wow. 384,438 miles? On average, you could fit 30 entire Earths in between this wow. distance. And if you somehow were able to drive a car at a constant 100 kilometers per hour speed, it would take you about 160 days to drive the entire distance. Despite this incredible distance, wow. however, 12 humans have actually set foot here, representing the furthest away that it would take 160 days driving Earth. 62 and miles per hour to get to the moon. This is what the Earth and that's just like the moon. We were standing there with them. Wow. And if you wanted to communicate with somebody back at home, it would take a message about two and a half seconds to travel between you and them, since that's how fast the speed of light can travel at. This is a photo that was taken on Mars, and that tiny dot that you see is that there Earth? is Earth as seen from the Martian surface. On average, Mars is an wow. incredible 225 million kilometers away from Earth, but that distance can be as high as 401 million This kilometers. is getting scary, that I'm sorry. <laughs> this is getting scary. Around to landing a human on the planet, that person will be 986 times further away from Earth than the astronauts who landed on the moon. What? In addition, the time delay for sending a message from Mars back to Earth isn't just two and a half seconds. It's actually more like 20 minutes each direction. <laughs> Render 20 minutes in the event of from Mars to Earth? Impossible. When we zoom out even further away, we can find the Voyager 1 space probe, which is the furthest away man-made object from Earth. It is currently located 138 AUs from the Earth. AU meaning astronomical unit, which is the distance between the Earth the... and the Sun, which means that Voyager 1 is 138 then the sun? away from us than the Sun is. At some point what? on its long voyage, Voyager 1 turned its camera around and took this photograph. It may not look like much at first, but please in my tell opinion, me that is not the Earth. This greatest single photograph ever taken in all of human history. Are you kidding this tiny, me? Pale blue dot is Earth, and I don't think that anybody Are you kidding has ever me? said something as amazing about this as Carl Sagan when he said, "If you look at it, you see a dot. That's here. That's home. That's us. On it, everyone that is ever scary. Heard of. Every human oh my being God, ever left lived out their lives." The aggregate of all our joys and sufferings. Thousands of confident religions, ideologies, and economic doctrines. Every hunter and every forager. Every hero and Everything coward, every creator we've ever and known of is on a planet every this, and every this peasant, big. Every young couple in love. That is crazy. Child, every mother and every father. Every inventor and explorer. Every teacher of morals. Every corrupt wow. politician, every superstar, every supreme leader, every saint and sinner in the history of our species lived there, on a moat of dust suspended in a sunbeam. Voyager <laughs> 1 is currently traveling I don't know what at to 17 say. kilometers I... every single second, but even at that speed, it won't break out of the reach of our solar system for another 30,000 years. Once we go beyond oh the solar God. system, we arrive in our interstellar neighborhood. 
Here we shift to the light year unit of measurement, which is the distance that light travels in a full Earth wow. year, or about 9.461 trillion kilometers. The star Proxima Centauri here is the closest other star to us other than our sun, but it's still 4.24 light years away from us. That is to incredible. Put that into if it was heading in the right direction, it would still take Voyager 1 over 70,000 years to reach it. In other words, 70,000 years kilometers an hour like in our previous example to the moon, <laughs> it would take over 6 times longer than the entire age of the universe is just to <laughs> finally get there and it wouldn't what? Even exist still when you arrive. What? When we zoom out even further, we can see the entire Milky Way galaxy inside of which Earth is located right here. This yellow dot that is the tiny spot of humanity's radio out of the whole universe. That history, tiny spot that is us. Aliens who live outside of this range are totally unaware. Of How does that not presence. scare people? It's complete oh. silence outside of this yellow dot, as far as we are currently aware. That is scary. Spans over one hundred thousand light years from end to end. There are over 100 billion stars and over 100 billion planets inside of our galaxy. That's our you have 100 billion the planets of the galaxy at night and we think we're the only life. Of the stars that you can see with the naked eye are limited to this small, tiny region. And that's right all the stars here. we can see. But even this that? massive galaxy is nothing compared to the rest of what's out there. Zooming out even further and we arrive at the local group of galaxies. A collection of the local group galaxies that is about of galaxies light years across. not even just so us zooming out even further and we can see the Virgo further cluster, <laughs> of which the local group here is just a tiny segment of there are at least 100 other groups of galaxies just like our own local group inside of here and this is ridiculous is a mind-numbing 110 million light years but even the massive Virgo supercluster is nothing but a quiet and tiny lobe of the great Laniakea supercluster, an enormous structure that is home to our galaxy as well as 100,000 other galaxies. 100,000 one side to the other, other is 520 galaxies million with millions years. of planets even there, and it gets even bigger. The way to the entire observable universe and see that <laughs> this is ridiculous. Laniakea supercluster is just a tiny and insignificant part of everything this is the observable what universe, are we everything that we what know are of. we it is home to how important are humans different uh, and individual <laughs> galaxies which together contain more stars than this there is are crazy of sand on the entire earth the distance from earth to any side of the observable universe is 46.5 billion light years which <laughs> means that the entire width is 93 billion light years wow. across What's perhaps even more interesting, however, is what actually lies beyond the observable universe. <laughs> Keep in mind that the observable universe is all that's that we all can we, currently that's see. That's all we can it's see. It's possible that the rest of the universe what else is, there? is vastly larger and more fantastic than we can possibly ever <laughs> imagine. We simply don't know what else is out there because the light from these incredibly distant places has not yet had enough time in the universe's history to reach us yet back on Earth. And the light from some places may never reach us at all. Because some parts of space very far away from Earth are expanding away from us faster than the speed of light, that means that the light from these places will never, in an infinite amount of time, reach Earth. Meaning that even if humanity is eternal and exists There's forever, so much that there we will don't still know. be an unknown number of places in the universe that we will never know about or ever see. So, it is very likely that as unbelievably enormous as it seems, the observable universe is just a tiny slice of what we can currently see of the entire universe. Wow. According to the theory of cosmic inflation that was proposed by Dr. Alan Guth, if it is assumed that cosmic inflation began at 10 to the negative 37th of a second after the Big Bang, and with the assumption that the size of the universe before inflation began was equal to its age times the speed of light, then this would seem to suggest that at the present day, the entire universe is 150 sextillion times larger than the observable Excuse universe. Excuse me? That number for reference looks like this, with this many zeros. Let this number sink in for just a moment. This would be similar to you thinking that the entire observable universe, everything that you could see was the size of a light bulb, but then realizing that in reality we are so the entire tiny. universe is larger than the former planet of Pluto. 
Imagine a light bulb in the center of Pluto, but we inside the light bulb were totally unaware that Pluto existed outside of it. And, and we we aren't the light bulb. We're in we so the light bulb. Unbelievably small, but you shouldn't worry because wow. all that means <laughs> is that there is so much left out there for us to discover together. This video was made possible by Squarespace. If you that is mind numbing. That is crazy. It is just, it's so crazy how we are just so small, but because we only know ourselves, we seem so important, but we're, I don't want to say we're not important, but we're so small compared to the rest of the universe and that's just what we can see what else is out there what else <laughs> do we have to I, I, I can't even explain it it's, it's too much it is really too much there is just so much out there and you can't believe that there's possibly just us as life forms. There have to be other life forms, maybe not even aliens, maybe other humans, other, just other stuff. We can't be the only thing that's out there. That's ridiculous. A hundred, a hundred, what, billion planets or a hundred million planets in our own galaxy. And there's millions of galaxies and we really think that we're alone as humans. That's impossible. That... This was a mind-numbing video. This was so... This was crazy. Just to even think about. But you guys, let me know what your beliefs are. Let me know what your theories are about this universe and the whole universe overall. Let me know what you thought about this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, you guys. And until next time, be blessed, be your best, and keep down the stress. Bye, guys. Crazy.